Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It is D Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, we've got some spoilers, guys. So, we got some new promos that were, you know, I shouldn't say confirmed because we had obviously the Combine promo that got canceled, but that wasn't a really, that wasn't really a Madden thing. That was more of a real life thing. Couldn't get that done. Uh, so, they kind of substituted the all rookie promo for that. Uh, but we saw last year, you know, we had positional heroes leaked, and the positional heroes never came last year. So obviously these aren't confirmed to be coming. But Mud Leaks did go ahead and leak some of these animations out. But 90, 95 percent of the time when they leak stuff out, it is confirmed to be coming. So this is some cool stuff here. So I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and show you guys some of these. Now we got like seven of them. Uh, so that means you know sit, we'll, we'll get into some because I think one of them's the uh, all rookie promo that. The all rookie animation they never put in the game, but maybe they, uh, you know, end up putting that in the game later on here. But they should have done that right when it came out. But let's go ahead and check some of these out. So these are pretty cool. I'm sure you guys have seen these already, but we'll go over them here uh, really briefly. I do apologize for the later upload, but Blockbuster promo. There's the animation for that. I'll enlarge it so you guys can see it a little bit better. But really good looking. It's really good looking, guys. So a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys, you know, EA, you know, sometimes I'm a fan, sometimes I'm not, but the animations this year have been spot on, uh, absolutely spot on. Now this one, we don't know what's, we don't know what's going on in this one. Um, not going to lie, I do apologize for it being so kind of fuzzy. I'm not sure how I can fix that, but I'm sure you guys have seen these already. This is on uh, their Twitter here if you want to go check them out. I'll try and remember to link them in the description down below, but uh, if you guys want to see them yourself, but... I don't know what's going on here, guys. So we got a space guy. So that's all we know here. Um, and um, it says untitled space program reveal. Uh, I know something's going down May seventh. You know, you know, relating something about space or something going on there. But other than that, I don't know what this could be. Um, y'all let me know down below what y'all think it could be. Uh, then we got the Easter promo, which is you know always a thing here. It's pretty nice. Not not pretty good looking too. Uh, you know, you got the the you know the chocolate bunnies, you got the pink background, pretty good looking animation there as well. Uh, but that's to be expected too, because we always get the Easter promo um, in Madden Ultimate Team. Here is the next one. Now these next three I want to show you guys are untitled uh, for this summer. So this uh, you see the 21 there. A lot of people are speculating a lot of things. I just think summer of 21 makes a lot of sense there. So um, that's what I think it is. You guys see off season one of three. Uh, I think it's just going to be one of the three promos we get during the summer. Whether this be like I don't maybe you know I didn't see free agency in here anywhere, so this may be one of them. Uh, but who knows? Maybe it's just something unique or something different. Hit this one's cool too. This is probably one of my favorites out of all of them. Uh, the pro this one's probably right behind the uh, the space uh, one. But this is pretty cool here. A little racetrack. A lot of cool stuff going on here. Um, but this is another one of those off-season things. They didn't really specify what it is, uh, but that's really all we get from there. And then here's the last one. So this is the one I think is the all-rookie promo. I mean, it, it looks exactly like it. Um, yeah, guys, that's that's literally the all-rookie program. If you guys go and look at, like, Javon Curse's card, this, is ma this matches up perfectly on that. So that's what I think that is. Um, and then we have... Uh, and this is the bigger animation for the space program so it is uh did get fixed here it's not fuzzy anymore but this is dope guys i don't know what this could be but this could be super cool um i i really do not know what it could be maybe i saw a lot of people commenting uh you know i watched xerxes video i watched gomo's video uh saw a couple people you know commenting like could be like out of this world type madden players like i don't know how they could do that but this is really intriguing. Have no idea what this could be. Um, super excited about it, though. Uh, super, super excited about it. Um, and then this is the one that everyone has been waiting on. Uh, so glad to see this. You know, it's not. I'm not going to say it's confirming that these are coming, but you know, like I said, 90, 95% of the time when they reveal or uh, you know leak out these animations, 90 to 95% of the time, it confirms that they're going to be coming. So. Still a chance golden tickets don't come, but seeing this leak here um, really, really does 
help out our case to go ahead and get golden tickets this year. So this is this is a big dub here. The animation is absolutely sick too. That's 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 pretty amazing right there. The liquid gold. Oh yeah, that's that's nice right there. But now here's the blockbuster. This is the higher one. Uh, we saw this one earlier. You guys see just a little um I guess the reels on the right if you want to call it that. Uh, and then yeah, that's it. So really that's it for that. Now let's go ahead and check out these heavyweights coming tomorrow. So we got D Ford coming tomorrow. Now I did. If you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, if you not if you are not already following, we're almost at a hundred. Uh, and actually we are like one subscriber away unless someone's already subscribed. One subscriber away from 900 as I'm, as I'm recording this video. So you guys want to go ahead and make that happen. Let's hit 900. Maybe we do a giveaway. If we do it and get a Titan tomorrow, I might do a giveaway for you guys. But if we do get a Titan, I would expect it to be Lawan or Saffold. Now, if I had to pick between those two, I'd definitely go with Lawan because I'd rather have a higher overall Roger Saffold because I want to be able to move him to right guard uh, and him still be a very high overall there. But you know, if we do end up getting Saffold, doesn't really help out as much. I mean, we'll get like a plus three overall boost at right guard uh, versus like a plus eight overall boost if we get Lawan. So I do think we're going to get the, uh, you know, either one of those. Uh, I really do hope it's Lawan though. But let's go ahead and check out D Ford here. Now, these are heavyweights, and this dude's like 250 pounds. So, you know, he's a lineman. I guess they just threw him in here because he hadn't had an upgrade all year. But let's check him out. 87 speed, 90 excel. Again, you can power him up. 84 strength, 90. Uh, 90 tackling, 95 play rec, 90 block shed, 90 power move, 96 finesse move. So, solid card there. I mean, we're getting 95s right now. You know, I'd like to see these go up to 96, uh, but that wasn't the case. So, I do expect us to get, you know, what are the other two left? Do we have, do we have, uh, what's the other two? Is it, is it um, Rising Stars and Veterans are the next two we're going to get? I think we get Veterans next week, unless they do power up sometime. So, I'll, you know. Please do power ups. I don't, you know, I don't care about these trash ninety five cards. Give us some power ups. Give us a Jack Conklin power up. Give us a Jared Cook power up. That would help us out a lot. You know, help out a couple other theme teams for that. You know, Cook power up. I say that all the time, but hey, it needs to happen at some point. Now you got Shaq Mason here at right guard. Eighty nine strength, ninety four awareness, ninety five pass block, ninety four uh, ninety four pass block, power ninety three pass block finesse, ninety five run block, ninety six run block power, and ninety four run block finesse. So. Like I said, guys, uh, talking about this, uh, we'll go ahead and get into the, um, the Malcolm Butler news here in a second. Um, but I, if we do get a if we do get a card tomorrow, um, I want it to be Lawan because that would help us out a lot at left tackle. Um, even though I I'd rather not get Titans tomorrow uh, because I'd rather wait for the 96s to come and then we'd end up you know getting a 99 overall. Wherever, so if we get like a uh, uh, you know a Taylor Lewan 96 overall powered up 97, he's chemed up plus two. That's a 99 rather than 95 powered up 96, chemed up plus two to 98. Because uh, I want to see that line all 99. That would be super nice. But hey, we do get three other cards tomorrow. I know uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say let's say Matthew Ioannidis gets one. He only has an 80 overall. Uh, Michael Brockers only has like an 82 overall core elite. Uh, there's a maybe a couple others, but I really I think the only other offensive lineman that hasn't had an upgrade all year is Roger Saffold. Now, I would love to save him for, like, positional heroes because I think he definitely deserves it. Uh, him not getting an upgrade all year is absolutely bonkers to me because he blocked for the probably one of the best running backs to ever do it. Um, uh, he definitely deserves uh, a lot of credit. Uh, and maybe, who knows, we may get, like, a, a, a you know, Ben Jones. Uh, that's a... That's kind of a wild card guess out there if we get someone that you know doesn't have a power up, but yeah, that's probably going to be my guy. I'm going to go ahead and guess Matthew Ioannidis, Michael Brockers, and either Saffold or Lawan there. So let's go ahead and get into the Malcolm Butler news now. Um, you know Malcolm Butler, I liked him a lot, uh, but I do understand what they're going here. They're what they're doing. Uh, you know, got got to you know make some cap room. Go ahead and make some more moves. Um, maybe we release Vicaro too, which would be somewhat upsetting, but he hadn't played. You know, phenomenal. Um, but we got to get some cornerbacks, guys. Uh, Adore Jackson, Christian Fulton, both those guys were injured last year. Um, so, I mean, uh, let's see here. So, yeah, Malcolm Butler, he's gone. Uh, this is tough, but, you know, one of my favorite Titans because, you know, I, I, I've been, I was telling you a lot if we ended up getting team, uh, team MVPs. 
Um, I wanted Malcolm Butler to get like a 97 because, you know, he was one of our best defenders last year. He didn't do anything too special, but, um, you know, had four picks, a lot of tackles. I mean, obviously, if you're a cornerback, you're bound to get beat over the top. So, I mean, I know that happened a couple times, but, hey, he's, yeah, I do agree. He's paid way too much. Uh, Ten million is a lot of money. Uh, so, with him getting released, uh, that does help us out a little bit there. Uh, but I do... If we, I think we could go ahead and you know release Kenny Vaccaro, go ahead and put Amani Hooker there, or we could put Amani Hooker back in the slot if we do end up you know not uh, re-signing uh, Desmond King. If we end up uh, re-signing Desmond King, I do expect Amani Hooker to get moved up to safety uh, and then release Kenny Vaccaro. Kevin Byard stays there. Jayon Brown and Johnny Smith are two interesting guys there. I'm surprised we'd use our franchise tag on them. Uh, if we ended up using our franchise tag, I would have definitely put it on, you know, John Smith because I feel like he has some hidden talent that really hasn't been out there just yet because we are a run-heavy offense. You know, we'll, we'll throw it to him, and he gets gets after the catch. He's almost like an A.J. Brown. Um, I really do hope we can re-sign him. I want, also want Lawan and I want KB uh, to go ahead and renegotiate their contracts because that would make, a you know, things a – heck of a lot easier for us as well so if we can just do those three things those three uh four three four things there uh we can release kenny vaccaro that'd be i'd be fine with that releasing malcolm butler i'm fine with that because we also have Amani hooker who's played who played fantastic last year and didn't even play you know 90 you know 90 100 percent of the snaps like you know malcolm butler did but yeah and also Amani hooker play, you know he had four picks the same as malcolm butler so he did you know they both led the team in picks um, and Amani Hooker, you know, played less snaps than Malcolm Butler. Uh, but if we could do those three, four things there, hopefully Lawan renegotiates, KB renegotiates. We can drop uh, uh, Kenny Vaccaro. Uh, we drop Malcolm Butler, so those two are gone. Um, and Corey Davis, I want to resign him. I want to keep him here. Um, again, that's another guy we could use our franchise tag on. But I guess John Robinson don't want to do that. I understand that, but. You know, Corey Davis, if he leaves, that's a little big loss because I think he does just as much, you know, not, not as much as A.J. Brown, but he has a very big impact on the offense. You know, if he's not out there, A.J. Brown isn't getting the amount of catches he's getting and the yards he's getting. So, you know, Corey Davis, he's got to come back. Johnny Smith's got to come back um, because if you if you lose those two, those two guys, you're basically – it's it's tough for A.J. Brown, you know, First off, you know, you play in Tennessee, uh, Tennessee Titans, you got to stop the run. But then if you stop the run, you've got Tannehill thrown to A.J. Brown. But for that to happen, you've got to have other weapons out there to, you know, take away the attention from A.J. Brown, like John U. Smith and, and, and um, uh, you know, John U. Smith and Corey Davis. So, you know, it's, it's interesting. We'll just have to wait and see. But the three things I really want to happen – Release Kenny Vaccaro. Uh, we release Malcolm Butler. Um, we might even release Desmond King, but with us releasing Malcolm Butler, <laughs> it'd be tough to see Desmond King go too. Uh, Desmond King played, in my opinion, he played very well uh, the last part of the season. So I really want to keep him, keep Adore, keep Christian Fulton, maybe draft like a Patrick Sertain in the first. Uh, if we can move up and get him, that would be the a major W because that would we would have a pretty nice cornerback core uh if adore jackson can play how he did a couple years ago and you know if desmond king can play like he did at the end of the year last year and you know certain stepping up next year and maybe even christian fulton doing his you know decent i think we'd be okay there at corner obviously we need to sign someone in free agency you know an outside linebacker pass rusher you know bud dupree uh, matthew judon Yannick Ngakwe, someone like that would help out a lot too. Uh, but I do expect either if we don't sign someone in the free agent, we got we got to sign a pass rusher guy. We got to sign a pass rusher guys. That's that's the number one thing right now. But as of right now, releasing Malcolm Butler is step number one of the process. I do trust John Robinson to make the right decisions for us. But in the meantime, we just have to wait and see what happens. Uh, I don't like waiting, guys. Even though we wait a lot for Madden content, I don't like waiting because. It does kind of stress me out and seeing what we're going to do. But with that being said, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'll see y'all.